Hi guys, what's up? This is KNX here and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna create fog in Blender. So now we just need to go to Blender. We are alre already in Blender. So first of all, here I just uh, created a simple scene just for the purpose of this tutorial. So let me just add here more monkeys to look good. <laughs> just to look uh, more professional. <laughs> I'm stupid. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, now we have our monkeys. I have already the camera set up in the right place. So, before we go to the shading panel, we just need to add the Node Wrangler. If you don't have the Node Wrangler on, you just need to go to Add on Search Node Wrangler. When you have the Node Wrangler activated, we can start our tutorial. Okay, so let go and activate it, and now let's add our cube. The cube is gonna be the mesh that we're gonna use f to create our fog. So we need to scale the cube and cover everything in our scene because in this story I want to cover everything in the scene with fog. So now we have our cube in cover everything in the scene. So now we just need to click in our cube and go to the shading panel. <laughs> Okay, now we are here in the shading, pan, shading panel, let me change to our viewport shading, and now uh, I'm gonna click new to add a new material, okay, and in this new material we don't need the principal BSDF, we need the principal volume, okay, we're gonna work with the principal volume, okay, so let's search here the principal volume, uh, right here, and connect the volume to the volume of my ma uh, material output and now you can see that we already have fog but if you want to just have this simple fog you can but i think that uh, you will not have uh, any any control of the, this fog so let's add more nodes to have more control of this fog first of all let's bring our density down okay and add a color ramp that will be connected to our emission strength and to our noise texture okay i'm gonna connect the noise texture to the factory the factory of the noise texture to the factory of the color ramp and the color to our emission strength okay now we have again our fog you can stop here and work with this new control that you have this new these new nodes to reach the fog that you want but in this tutorial i'm gonna go step further to uh, more control of our fog so now we're gonna use the node wrangler i'm gonna click in noise texture and click ctrl t to add the mapping and the texture coordinates and in here the texture coordinate we're gonna unselect this and select the vector to the object okay and now i'm gonna add here a gradient texture all right now we have a gradient texture but it's not connected so to connect the gradient texture to our noise texture first of all we're gonna connect the vector to our mapping nodes and the noise texture to the gradient texture we're gonna use a rgb a mix rgb basically so with the mix rgb we're gonna connect everything the factory to our noise texture and the gradient color to the color 2 and now we have more easily control of our fog and now we just need to add here a bright end contrast right here and now you can just play with everything and have your fog but what you're gonna see is that your fog when you bring the the color ramp down you'll see that the fog will gonna disappear from one, one side and just stay in the other side so just to bring this fog in the same place and to bring this fog to our bottom of the the scene we just need to change the rotation of the uh, the y axis to minus 90 and now you can see that when you go and bring this down you bring fog to the bottom of your scene okay and i think that this is it you can bring you can uh, play with everything that you have right now you can play with the brightness and you can play with let me just use shift to bring this down and you can play with the contrast you can play with the factory okay or 
you can just uh, bring the color the color ramp down and have your effects really cool and done so now you can just change the color basically you can change the color for everything you you want basically uh, let me bring this up a little bit, something like that. Okay, you can change everything that you want, but don't <laughs> don't add the principal uh, BSDF because you're gonna uh, lose everything of your volume. And that's it. You just need to set up your camera. Uh, I'm gonna click zero to go to my camera view, and now I'm gonna just put this in in bright. Okay, and bring this down. To something that I liked. Let me change the camera to basically 35. I think 35 it's a good uh, focal length. Okay and now we have our scene with fog created. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, this simple tutorial and fast tutorial that I'm uploading. I don't know if it's gonna be every single day that I'm uploading a tutorial but I'm uploading every single day a speed art and sometimes a tutorial for you guys to learn more and more easily new things from Blender. So that's it, the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Go see the other videos because I'm uploading every single day guys. Don't forget to give a like and comment what you think from the the, the speed arts because uh, I want to have some feedback from the speed arts. So if you think that something in the speed arts that I created are not good, go and tell me in the comments and tell me why. Okay, just to to help me to improve my skills. Okay, guys, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Uh, bye, guys.